All right, so here I am on the plane and um, got a couple of pens here. So I've got a Lamy 2000, Pilot Custom 74, of course, Pilot Stargazer, Delta Fusion 82, and then I have another Lamy 2000 on my Midori Traveler's Notebook. So I know that I say to have all the pens with the nib pointing up, but I want to experiment and see if I can actually get these pens to leak. So I'm going to put them all nib down. And they're all filled to various levels. Lamy 2000, the piston, everything else is a converter that I have filled to various levels. So there's definitely some good air bubbles going on here, and uh, I'm gonna try to get them to leak. So it's not every day that I get the opportunity to fly in a plane like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them all nib down, and then I'm gonna take off and see once we get to cruising altitude if I have any leaks. altitude I wanted to check in on my pens which I had all pointed nib down. So the first one I had is a Lamy 2000 that I had in my traveler's notebook. I don't remember how full this one was. And oh yep I did get a little ink in the cap. How do you like that? A little ink here. It's not a big mess but there's definitely a drip there. Interesting. Okay let's see. And my pilot stargazer. I got a little bit of ink on the nib there. Can't really tell how much is going on in there. But I would guess there's a little bit of ink in the nib. Let's get my other Lamy 2000. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got ink all over that. Oh, I can see a little puddle in there. Oh, that's pretty gross. <laughs> see here, my Custom 74. This one's clear, so I can see it a lot better. This one has a tiny bit. It, this one already had some drips in the cap when I put it in there, but it's really not, it's really not any worse. So that one actually fared really well. The last one is my Fusion 82. The feet's pretty saturated. I can't really tell what's going on in there. Doesn't appear to be too bad though. Okay, so I definitely got a little bit, but it's not like anything exploded. Whatever came out is still in the cap. So all I'm gonna need to do is take a Q-tip, swirl it out a little bit, wipe off the nib, and I'll be set. So it's not the kind of thing that people need to like freak out about, you know, because I get these emails all the time of people that think their pins are going to explode or something if they, they carry them wrong in the, in the plane, but it doesn't seem to be that big of an issue. just got back to my hotel after my flight and I have a business meeting tomorrow so the last thing I want is to have a bunch of inky pens that are gonna get my hands all gross and everything at my meeting tomorrow so I wanted to kind of check up on my pens and just see how they did after my flight with the nib pointed down and so I have all my pens right here um, custom 74 let me 2000 two of them uh, Fusion 82 and a Pilot Stargazer and uh, in flight they looked like they had leaked a bit and I took some tissues um, just because that's what I have handy and it looks like there's a lot of ink but really this is just like one little drip um, so from all five of these pens I was able to pull really just a couple of drips I was actually surprised it seemed worse it seems like there were more leaks actually in flight so 
Um, it really wasn't too bad to clean up. I think I can say, at least from this particular experiment with these pens and ink and, and this combination of stuff, that even pointing the nib down, it really wasn't that big of a deal. And, you know, I had pens ranging in different converters, you know, ink volumes, um, pistons, and it, it didn't really seem to make a huge impact on how much these things leaked. And it definitely was not anything that even got outside of the cap. It really wasn't really inhibiting at all. In fact, a Q-tip, just a tissue or something, was enough to fix it in about two minutes. So you don't need to freak out too much, but there is my practical experiment with trying to make pens leak on a plane. Hope you enjoyed it. Right on. All right, so since I actually plan to come back, I'm now on a plane again. Uh, this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same pens that I brought there with the nib down. This time, I'm gonna keep them nib up to see if there's any difference this time having the pens in a different direction. Hey, so I finished my flight back. Two flights, actually. I had a connection coming back, so I actually did two different ascents. Um, I checked my pens after the first ascent and didn't have any noticeable leaking of any kind with the nib pointed up. So I went ahead and took it on the second one and I'm just sitting down now and kind of checking them, doing the same trick I did at the hotel with the tissue. And uh, I got my tissue right here. The only ink that I was able to pull out of any of the caps was this tiny, tiny little bit here out of the Stargazer. Uh, I can't really say if that is because of the plane or if it was just because of, you know, carrying it around in my bag or something, because, you know, I had my laptop bag coming back from the airport and everything, so. Uh, but I can definitively say with the same five pens that I had here, roughly the same ink level and everything, uh, that having the nib pointed up makes a big difference. So, there you go. Hopefully this was able to help you out.